The world has changed. We are a part of a global play, so we had to refocus our strategy, and that's what we are trying to do. We are the biggest economy in the world, so we need resourcing of raw materials without hindrances. We will have a discussion to have how far can we with military um auch Rohstoff zu vorzuhaben. During the colonial days, the Europe used our countries to grab resources for the empire. That same policy is now being pursued in a new name, and it's called the Raw Materials Initiative. It's not about the people of Europe, it's about how to enrich the corporations even further, how to ensure that European corporations have competitive edge, and so it's all about corporate interests. So that's what is pushing this agenda. Traditionally, most countries, including Europe, have used um, export taxes to promote the development of um, industries, to move them to a higher level. But most importantly, it helps to create linkages between one kind of sector, like for example the mining industry, with another. But the way in which the EU is pushing these rules is basically to take away that policy space and that option for developing countries to do what they have to do uh, for their own interests. empresas lo único que dejan es el 5% y el 95% se lo traen ellas y ese desarrollo pues con ese con esa mínima cantidad que dejan no progresa es es un myth to think that simply opening up to FDI would translate into infrastructure or growth without government putting in place a necessary safeguard which are being undermined by some of the sort of trade agreements that the governments have been pushed to sign We Europeans really do need to reduce our consumption of raw materials. On average, we consume four times as much raw materials as the average African, and three times as much as the average Asian. So we all need raw materials, but we need to find an international process to manage them equitably. You voted them in power, your government is doing this in your name. So as citizens of Europe, you have a huge responsibility to ensure that these bad policies do not go through.